if you want results. So wifey just hit the Google badge, fifty-two thousand dollars, bro. It made nine thousand today. And I mean, really want results like the queen bee. Yo, so wifey about to withdraw ten thousand. Then you gotta put in the work. Scared money don't make no money. So if you go look at your leaderboards today, wife is on there, $13,000. Top 10 traders though, by the way. Pocket options pays, but only to those who have the drive and discipline to get it done. And you're looking at a woman who gets it done. All right, y'all. So you know what today is, man. The 23rd, wife done brought me the phone. This is her entry she's in right now. She has two minutes left. And this is what she in. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, if you look at the bottom, you can low-key see why she got in. You know what I'm saying? Same step every time. If you always look down here, you could just you could just pretty much see why. 10-minute trade, easy money. All right, but now I'm going to let her explain. You already know these going in. You see the entry. Ain't no way these ain't going. But, yeah, I'm going to let her explain exactly what she do. That new new. Ooh, look at that new new though. And here she is. The queen of pocket options. Oh wow. <laughs> you reaching. It's you, a reach. You reaching. Hey, this might nice though. You know what I'm saying? Swervo. Okay, bet. <laughs> so, the people want to know. What's the secret? What's the sauce? Because this is what they want to know. Jesus Christ. Period. Period. That's on that. Heavy on the period. Heavy no on gimmicks. the period. No gimmicks, no games. But Jesus for real, for real. Like I start my day in that word. I start my day in prayer. Like how I start my day gets me where I'm at in these markets. Come on now. But also just learning lessons. I mean, y'all have no idea how many accounts your girl has blown. Yeah. Like how many sick to my stomach, fetal position in the corner, don't talk to me type of nights I done had from pocket options. You feel me? But, and you know, I've always been transparent about that. I've never made it seem like I'm always making profit. I've showed my losses and stuff before. Um, but just learning, and that's the thing, like once you make mistakes, if you make mistakes in the markets, you know I learned from them, you're gonna continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. Right. So I've learned from my mistakes and applied every time. Mm. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I can get beside myself. Like yesterday I had a bad trading day, but I'm not blowing accounts. And that's yeah. the difference. I used to blow my accounts all the time, but now I'm trying to accept the fact that if I lose, I lose. Every day is not going to be a winning day. Yeah. And I'm still having to like remind myself of that. Ask Jeremy. I'm always like, babe, I have to win something. I need to be in profit. But that's how you blow your account. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to show you on the charts too, but like. Yeah, what can, my thought process is. Can stuff. you verbally explain what so, you look at? First of all, I don't know none of that terminology y'all be talking about. Yes, yeah, she don't. Like, when y'all be in my inbox saying, do, 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 I don't know. She what don't really about know nothing about no indicators. She don't, don't know nothing about know support and resistance. That. She don't know no Forex terminology. Nothing. He was the one who set up my chart. So, yeah. I don't, I can't even tell you. She can't even tell you what's on that. that stuff. But I'm looking at the stochastic, which mm -hmm. is at the bottom. And I'm looking at the 15 minute chart. The first, the one minute chart and the 15 minute chart. When both of those are on the same thing okay so for example this is eurcad it's yeah. at the top been at the top for a minute though we see how it's curving down yeah. and i look at the m15 chart at the top as well yeah, on the stochastic, stochastic. you see what i'm saying now normally i would probably wait until after this candle is done to get in but it's look like it's already look yeah, <laughs> so if i don't it. if i can get in at the top i don't get in at all that's another yeah. thing i'm not gonna get in right now because i don't know just mm -mm. you gotta be at the tippy top Sniper entry. Sniper entry. But that's all I'm looking at. See, I ain't got none of that crazy extra stuff on my charts or nothing. Just Facts. all I look at. I already made my profit for the day, so that's why I'm not going to uh, place an actual trade. But yeah. if I was to, it would have been way at the top. Right and I did 10 minutes and. Easy. Bop! It's the trade she was looking at. That she so you see how we're getting at the top? One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six. It's on the seventh candle. Damn. And I would have had three more minutes. Yep. So I'm pretty sure probably gonna keep pushing down. Come on now. Come on now. So if the 15 and the one minute is overbought yes. at the same time, the same so time. if they both like at the top, mm -hmm. the M15 and the M1 at the same time, then she'll that's like I'm a get in. high Sweet quality spot. trade, right? Sweet spot. The entry boot would be like Chef's kiss. So what makes you do 10 minutes? 
because it, in case it decides to go the opposite direction of what I'm saying is going to go, it gives it time to make that turnaround and mm -hmm. give me the profit that I deserve. Yeah, because on me, because like I told y'all, she only do um, regular Forex pairs now. For the most part, she did a I couple, couple of OTCs. OTC, but and I got them, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put on my bread and butter in it. All right, because you know they manipulate. But right. you know the ten, the the forex pair is like sometimes they stall for a long time, so it just sit in one spot. So really doing like a longer trade helps it like turn around. Because yeah. most of the time you're probably right, it just be stalling. Right. <laughs> people are trying to tell me, oh, you could have got that with a two or three minute trade, but you never know though. Right. I done did three minute trades and ended up messing up on me going the opposite way. Facts. So 10 minutes gives it that time to really go in my direction. Mm. So, that's I love it. And I'm going to tell y'all, like, my purpose in life and my calling is to help people with their prayer life, their relationship with God, things like that. Jeremy's purpose in his life is to help you guys financially. Which yep. makes us a great deal, you know what I'm saying? Period. But that's why I would never mentor nobody on trading or teach a class because that's not what God purposed me to do. You know yep. what I'm saying? And I don't do what human beings tell me to do. I do what the Lord tells me to do. I love Period. It. And y'all gotta respect that at the end of the day. And my women, please don't like y'all can learn from my husband. Don't make it seem like you have to be learning from a woman. Like, oh my gosh, I would get it much easier if you taught me. That no. <laughs> Because she always say, I'm the same false. person that taught her. So Yeah, he the one who taught me. Like, <laughs> that's the thing. He taught me how to trade. Was that last year? Yeah, it was last year. And it's crazy because I was never interested in trading at yeah. all. But he taught me how to trade. And that was the last time. That was the first and last time that he taught me. I don't watch his videos as far as, like, strategies and all nope. that. I don't know none of that. I create. I do my own strategy. I look at different things. Yep. And y'all need to know that, too. Y'all don't always do what works for you. You don't always, like, as soon as you may, you may be making money in the markets. And you'll see like me or him, you know, have a profitable day. And you're like, what strategy are you using? Because <laughs> what works for me may not work for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So do what works for you. If the strategy you're using is working for you, cool. And then another thing, I'm on a rampage. Even if you do have losing days, don't just think, oh, trading's not for me. This is not what God called me to do. Like God's plans for our life is never straight. Yep. It's, not, it's always like this. We're going to have ups and downs, peaks and valleys, all that stuff like that. Because if I would have gave up when I blew my accounts, then I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Facts. So know that just because it's not easy don't mean it's not from God. Yep. Even the hard things are from God. Mm. Look, y'all got me off. Like Job out here. Look. Oh, what? Like Job. Stop playing, stop you know what I'm saying? Hey, I love it. So, yo, listen. Uh, so she had one more thing to say before we get to the show. Okay, so the thing is, like, there's been times that Jeremy has shared, you know, my trading or I've shared something and everything like that. And somebody would be in the inbox, oh, you should have did this, oh, that's this and that. whatever, you know, terminology, I don't know anyway. Yeah. And try to tell me, let me tell y'all something. You can always tell the ones who really doing it and the ones who ain't. The one who's doing it, they're not in other people's inbox on the comment section talking about you're trading wrong, da 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 da, all that. The ones who's doing it are doing 20k withdrawals. Mm -hmm. Period. Like, so if it works for us, that's it. I mean, numbers don't lie. Facts. If we're out here withdrawing money, then clearly it's working for us. Facts. That's all I say. That's it. That's it. That's all. <laughs> Ooh, let the people know. We in her little palace. You know what I'm talking about? What else did I say I want to say? Hmm. She said, "I got so much I could say." Oh, say? something. Another thing that changed my life was I started withdrawing, and also when I used to trade, I would always feel like I had to um, put ten thousand dollars in, fifteen thousand dollars in to get started. I've been trading off of the same three thousand yeah. dollars for the last month, yeah. and taking profit withdrawing is what I do. So I withdraw. And then when I get the green light to withdraw again, I withdraw with whatever after the three thousand. So right now I have um, I withdrew ten thousand dollars yesterday, and I'm waiting for it to clear so then I can withdraw whatever after my three thousand now. Mm. You get it? You get it? You get it? So Period. withdraw those profits. I mean, I used to be the one to compound. I got to guru before once, and I got I was almost close to it another time. Compounding yep. just didn't work for me. Cause I would end up just losing majority of my money. Cause she'll go bigger. Like the bigger the account is, the yeah. more it make you want to go bigger. So. Yeah. So this right here, right here, I'm practicing like just small numbers. Like I don't have to be so, what's the word, greedy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I love it, man. <laughs> look, so y'all see it? That means shoot. I don't really much say. I just want to show myself. Babe. Oh, show, show it this way. Yeah. Hey. 
God is good. God is good. Hey, all glory to God, man. Can't take no credit. I've been telling y'all this. You know what I'm saying? And uh, at the end of the day, man, you know, as crazy as this world is, we all need Jesus. Come on, man. Period. And we got to say it because, you know. But hopefully. Keep that first. Keep Don't Jesus get up in the morning first, and trying to get on them charts. Breath Period. still stank. You ain't got your word. Ooh. Honey. Honey. How you start is how you finish. How you start Period. is how you finish. Remember that. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace. Peace.